Good afternoon. My name is Murph. I'll be your host and welcome to Prog Monster. Today we're going to be discussing a look back to a classic album and that album today will be this one. Oh, sorry, got an angle. <laughs> Hemispheres by Rush. Top shelf album if ever there was one. It's not my favorite Rush album but it's pretty close man. Um, some great stuff on here. Anyways, um, this album of course features Getty Lee on bass and vocals, Alex Lifeson on guitars, and Neil Peart on drums and percussion. Um, it's probably their most complex album of all of their uh, catalog. Um, they said it was hard work putting this together and they never wanted to do it again. But um, I'm also hearing that they were inspired by the uh, Yes album Relayer and if that's what inspired them that explains a lot because both those albums are very complex um, ar musical arrangements um, some of the best uh, acoustic stuff as far as guitar go is uh, is on here as well I believe um, and Alex does some amazing guitar on here period you know anyways uh, just a little overture on the uh, on the tracks um, the first track, which is the title track called Hemispheres, is book two of Cygnus X1, which started on Farewell to Kings, this album's predecessor. Um, it's, uh, it's very complex. It's not as a... Uh, it's a complex song, has lots of parts to it, um, telling the story of, of a god, Cygnus. Um, the predecessor to this takes place... Um, on Farewell to Kings, which is a little darker. The song's a little bit darker. It's where they go um, through the uh, black hole of Cygnus X1 and end up on the other side. And this is the story they tell about the Greek gods. Uh, really good song. It took a long time for me to actually like this particular song. Um, I, I found the... Having listened to some of Yes's stuff, like Close to the Edge and... Uh, Relayer, of course, uh, found this not as complex. It seemed kind of sh a little bit shallow at first to me, so I didn't get into the song for that reason, not initially. Um, the other three songs on the other side uh, instantly grasped me and have done nothing but grow. Um, I really like uh, Circumstance. That's a song that I like to sing a lot. I sing that. That's one of my shower staples. Uh, I really like that song. Um, I think it's a story that Neil Peart put together uh, about his time when he uh, traveled to Britain to try to make it in music. Um, so the story, I think, has a little bit to do with that. And if it does, it makes quite a bit of sense. Anyways, the second track, The Trees, is arguably one of my favorite Rush songs. It's definitely in my top ten. Um, Having gone to school for a boar culture, it just has a kind of a personal touch for me. I really dig um, a lot of uh, the keyboard stuff on this as well. And then we come to uh, the downright classic bombastic La Vila Strangiato, or Strangiato, however you want to say it. Um, for me, it's probably the best instrumental ever written. Uh, the guitar in this is is among Alex's best stuff and, and he's, he's done a lot of really good stuff but that song on this song he just goes over the top and and I believe the story is um, also from a I heard them read somewhere that it was from a dream that he had had and so they put it together and it's probably if you looked at my recent rankings of um, Russia's songs at least for the classic ones, um, this song came second. It hasn't always been that high for me, but over the last couple of years, it's really become a song I love even more. I, I've always loved that song. It was always, it's always been my favorite on this album, and it's to me, it's just a fantastic song. Um, and their, their instrumentals are among the best of their music, but this one is top shelf for sure. Um, the album was produced by Rush, and this, of course, is Terry Brown. Um, so if you're looking for something more proggy or something more um, 
yeah, very. This album is very proggy, more proggy than most of their other stuff. This and Farewell to King is probably the two most proggy albums they have. Um, so if you're looking for something in the progressive rock era to start out on, or you, you've got some progressive rock and you'd like to try something maybe you haven't tried, this is a good album to start with. Fantastic. Uh, the bass is amazing on this, and of course Neil Peart is Neil Peart, so I don't know what else you can say about that. Anyways, uh, so uh, Hemispheres by Rush. Their, uh, I think it's their sixth studio album, uh, released in 1977 or 78, which one? Boy, I wish I could find my glasses. <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna say it was 78. I think it was Farewell to Kings 77 and then Hemispheres 78. Anyways, it's a great album to start out with, so um, you know, give it a try or at least give it a listen to. And uh, so I thank you for joining me today. Uh, if you've got any comments about this album or any other things I've said, or you have any questions or have anything you wanna you've seen that I maybe missed or. I misquoted or did something, you know, please leave a message and let's have a conversation about this music. It's it's fantastic. Anyways, you have a good afternoon and Frog Monster out.